Yeah, I mean, first, just starting with tonight, I think LeBron and AD are still very good at basketball. Um, and I see that on, you know, the rundown here as well. Uh, just having them back changes so much. I feel like I watched two games that are, you know, complete, you know, opposites of each other. First game, we couldn't score at all, right? And tonight, I thought our offense looked great. Uh, it was hard to tell like, with JJ's first game. But with this one, it's very clear. We kind of joked about the structure and, you know, how how structured JJ could make things. But it's clear that he has very much of an intention on every play. Every, you know, basket feels like he's created out of him. Uh, an actual play call he mentioned at the halftime, um, which is weird. I don't remember coaches really getting interviewed at the half, but you know, Mike Trudell spoke to JJ and he's like, yeah, we emphasize screening a ton, which is crazy. Like before the second preseason game to like really, you know, emphasize screening. But I thought tonight I saw, I saw more like contact screens than I saw all last year. Um, it, the offense just looks like it's running beautifully. You, you know, you mentioned um, a little earlier or maybe offline about like D'Lo, being on ball. I thought Austin started off with the ball a ton uh, to start this game. A um, lot of screening, a lot of guards screening for LeBron, a lot of off ball actions. Uh, we heard about AD being kind of uh, the hub of the offense. I, I thought you got a little bit of a look at what that looks like. He was kind of catching at the extended elbow, right? And a lot of players kind of ro roaming around him and he found LeBron for cuts a few times. Um, the offense looks good. <clears throat> I think Max Christie looked awesome in the first game. Obviously, in this one, without you know more offensive touches, he he's not going to look the same. But uh, yeah, LeBron and AD look really good. AD still cleans up a ton on the defensive end. That's kind of where my concerns are. But Anthony, I think this is a really fun offense. Um, a lot of screening, a lot of uh, intention intentionality in what they're doing. Um, it looks like it's going to be a really fun offense this year. That's my like first picture through a game and a half that I got to watch. So it seems to me on the offensive system front mm -hmm. that essentially what they're trying to do, and this is why they are mm -hmm. like um, emphasizing shooting threes as much as they are, mm -hmm. right? Um, they are really, really trying to spread out the the, the defense. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, because you don't have a hyper quick point guard who is going to gash the defense by himself. So what essentially the Lakers are, are doing is they're going to spread the defense out, create a bunch of holes, and then they're going to throw. They they love throwing pocket passes. They mm -hmm. love these diagonal passes that that creates that that vertical movement into the defense. Um, that you know that's that's the advantage that they're going to try to to gain here. That's that that appears to be how they're trying to gain uh, their their advantage. Yeah, and it feels like a real focus on spacing, right? Obviously, in two preseason games, you're not going to see everything. All the lineups aren't going to be perfect. I thought we got a real rotation tonight other than the four brawny minutes that I guess JJ is contractually obligated to play on a nightly yeah. basis. Um, but, like, we saw um, we saw Jackson Hayes uh, spacing to the corner, right? And I think that's just JJ getting, like, the principle in. Like, we're going to space uh, we're gonna space teams out. Right. And like we had LeBron screen for Austin a bunch in like very space floor. And he had a huge, you just mentioned the pocket pass. He had a huge pocket to catch it for an and one. I'm not sure if JJ is doing this like on purpose, but he was already kind of matching subs. Like the Suns went small with KD at center. So he went Rui and LeBron at center. And LeBron is not going to be defended by anyone uh, on the Phoenix Suns when they have a small at center. And we got to the rim. Um, but yeah, it just feels like JJ is really kind of focused on the principles right now. And I love like the spacing that we have right now. Corn, uh, guy space all the way to the corners, um, the action in the gut area in the middle of the floor. Um, and, you know, we have LeBron and AD involved together in plays where usually, you know, last year and the years before, it was a lot of AD post up on one side, LeBron post up on one side. Like, it's a lot of separate actions. I like the actions that involve both of them together. Um, yeah, like, I've, I've just really enjoyed watching, you know, an offense that has, it feels like uh, one, two, three levels into it, um, uh, iterations of it. Um, it's been It's been nice to watch so far. So from what I have heard to this point, um, this is Greg St. Jean, who is um, mm. designing and implementing the 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 offense. Um, essentially, like according to the to to the people I've spoken to, um, it seems as if like you know JJ is operating as kind of the CEO, and he's delegating everything, um, mm. and and he is more focused on communication. 
um, with players, right? He's really focused on uh, developing and maintaining relationships. Um, mm. That's his, that's his kind of top priority. It seems like right now. And uh, you know, you have uh, Bob Byer on uh, the defense. He is, he's kind of uh, implementing and, and, and designing the defense and, you have St. Greg St. Jean um, handling the offensive duties. And then you have the two former head coaches, Scotty Brooks and Nate McMillan, um, just kind of like coaching everything, you know, like, you know, handling, hand, just, just kind of like guiding JJ through the process of learning what it takes to be a head coach. That's, that's essentially the sense that I'm getting here. Um, when that's what I heard that, that, that how, you know, when I heard that's how things were being run, I started asking people around the league about how good uh, Greg St. Jean would be in that role, how good Bob Byer would be in his role. And that's when I was met with a little bit of dubiousness, right? Yeah. Um, neither guy is, 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 you know, per, you know, reputed to be very uh, good in, in either of those roles. But what I'll say though, is that, um, you know, one way to make up for uh, coaches who kind of lack that kind of reputation is through individual talent and kind mm. of lineup lineup based talent. And I think that's where the Lakers are actually OK. I actually think at the top of the roster, they do have enough talent to, you know, execute this kind of a system. And it's a it's a fairly rudimentary system there are some nuances to it but like in general spreading out a defense and then hitting them in the holes that you create when you spread them out is like a very it's a very kind of uh you know basic concept that everybody is trying to do which really says something about what last year's team was lacking right <laughs> coaching wise that like it was you would watch these sets and you wouldn't really know what they were trying to accomplish here. What I will say through two games is that um, I, I can I can generally tell what they are trying to accomplish. Like three out of every four possessions down, down, down the floor. Sure. And again, this is all fun and well, while the games don't matter. Right. And once, you know, wins, losses come into the equation, um, structure can be also another term, Anthony, for controlling, right? So, like, it, this is very early on in terms of uh, the path here. But I just love, like, it's not just about the system to me. It's the attention to detail, right? And, again, this is not the type of detail, in my opinion, that usually you see in preseason. But, again, JJ at the half was like, the Suns aren't switching much, and they're sending our, um, our side pick and rolls middle. So, like, that's how we attacked it, which, again, it's like a very, like, uh, it's not really just system-based. It's kind of how the defense is guarding you based um, and adjusting towards that. He talked about transition defense early, and I thought that improved um, as the game went on. Um, and again, it just feels like it's a coaching staff that's very, you know, detail-oriented. Again, not every JJ positive has to be a ham critique. Like, every time I post something about JJ, I'd say ham doesn't even know what that means, which, like, we got to relax. Like, that's... That's a little, a little too far, um, but no, I, I think they look, look. I think the offense at least has looked like it's had a lot more intentionality to it, um, and you can kind of see what the quotes. Again, I think the quotes are really a little exaggerated, exaggerated. Like when D'Lo says we were winging it all last year, like you can't wing yourself to forty-seven wins, in my opinion, and I, at least. Um, but yeah, like I, I think you can kind of tell what the quotes were alluding to um, so far through 